In this video, I'm going to tell you about three easy ways to make your metallics more interesting. Warning, Uncle Adam is not a professional. He's usually not even very good. Try any and all of Uncle Adam's pro tips at your own risk. Void where prohibited, Uncle Adam is not actually an uncle. It is a spicy one today and uh, the AC up here doesn't work. So, um, moist. There are two main classifications of metallic and there's true metallic metal and then there's non-metallic metal. I don't mess with non-metallic metal because I find it to be harder and it's it, it it looks good in certain angles and it's not necessarily my visual style so there's that I like to use true metallic metals which means you're using metallic paints um, metallic paints come in all kinds of different brands and colors and consistencies and all that kind of stuff but uh, to basically basically break it down it's not actual little chunks of metal broken down in the paint it's this stuff called mica which I think is maybe like a bit of a plastic or something like that and that stuff is floating in the paint and then as it dries and whatnot you they kind of fix these little tiny pieces fix and they become reflective and so that's why you get like a glint and a glare you don't see yourself in the paint it's not like a like a like a mirror but you definitely see uh, specular highlights and that kind of stuff and it makes it look metallic look you know, like metal that's the whole point painting something just metal and being like cool done is fine but there's some really easy things you can do very quickly to make your metallics look more interesting this may seem pretty standard to those of you who've been painting for a while but for those of you that haven't maybe been painting for a while put washes over your metallics after they've dried so you paint some sword or shield or something like that with a metallic color throw some washes on it afterwards now washes are a standard in painting and I use them all the time but in metallics they've got a couple different uses which are I think actually a lot of fun one use is if you've got a lot of detail let's say you've got this cool shield and it's got a lot of detail stuff embossed and debossed and pre-bossed and all the different types of bossing uh, and if you throw in a bunch of wash in there it will soak into the crevices and the little nooks and the crannies and then it will bring out the detail it will dry down in there be darker down in the nooks and crannies and then it'll be lighter at the top and it will look really kind of interesting and cool and it will look like you went in and painted in a bunch of extra detail that wasn't technically there and it's pretty simple to do um, you want to when you put it on there you want to make sure you're kind of like not getting any weird pooling in any spots you might, might need to soak it up a little bit with a bit of a dry brush or a clean brush and just say well there's too much over there by the and you just you know it's pretty simple but once you get the hang of it it works great the other thing you can do with washes over metallics is that it just helps to dirty them up a nice bright silver looks great on some you know questing knight who has you know a squire and an entire entourage behind them to polish their sword every night or whatever but if you're an evil demon let's say you know or if you're um, some sort of uh, you know nurgle being or you're a goblin that's been out in the woods there's not a lot of polishing going on there so to make metals look grungier it's very simple to just go and put some very simple washes on them darken them down maybe layer them the thing about washes is that once a wash dries you can then put another layer over it and if you put another layer over it in certain areas you can actually build a gradient like you lay you know wash over over the entire sword let it dry then a little bit of wash kind of down towards the hilt but not all the way up towards the tip let that dry and then more down by the it's very simple it's easy stuff give it a try you'll find that you can make your metallics look a little bit more dramatic with some washes not only can you make your metallic look a little grungier with a nice black wash or a brown wash you can also change the color of your metallics with certain washes and also with other types of paints like contrast paints or maybe even glazes or inks with these adeptus mechanicus folks that i painted on twitch um, they were just painted a very bright silver uh, actually it was the vallejo model metallic air paint a uh, color just called silver uh, and i did a video about those paints but so you should check them out but it's nice very smooth bright silver paint and then I just used seraphim sepia over the top of them and it just turned them into that really nice soft brass and as I was working on them on Twitch people kept asking me like what's that metallic color it's really cool I'm like silver and sepia I mean it's it's as simple as that no fancy technique just putting you know sepia over that silver after it dried and it makes it look great then there's also contrast paints which I've mentioned as well I painted my necrons quite some time ago back in almost a year ago in July of last year and I talked about that as well in a video Pachau 
And that is basically just putting contrast colors over the metallics. In that situation, I wanted those metallic to, to not look... First of all, I didn't want to look silver. Secondly, I wanted them to look kind of corroded and old and grungy. So it's a lot of uh, Agoros dunes just kind of everywhere. And then maybe some skeleton hoard. And then maybe even some snake bite leather in some spots where you want to get almost like rust. Um, there's also a Griff Charger Orange, I think, is another color that can also work as rust. And then it's just more of a stippling and a poking and that kind of stuff. I did a video about weathering with uh, contrast paints. Pachow. And that also ties into working with these transparent colors over the metallics. Metallics, I almost rarely ever use specific metallic colors like gold and brass and things like that. I do here and there. More often than not, I'm starting with a silver and then I'm toning it with different inks, glazes, contrast paints, and washes. Once you've got your metallics put down and you've thrown some washes down on it to give them some detail and some shade and some shadow and some er certain areas, you also want to very frequently accentuate those highlights. Like I said, the metallic nature of the paint will give off some specular highlights when you look at the model, kind of turn it in the light. But you want to accentuate that. And so what you generally do is once you've darkened things down a little bit, then you want to go back and highlight up just in the top ridges, the things that would catch the light, the things that stick out. Very frequently what I just do is if I started with a bright silver base, darken things down with the um, with a wash, I just go back then and just do a little bit of edge highlighting, a little bit of maybe dry brushing even with again the same silver or a brighter silver if I actually have one to just get those parts to really pop and be that specular highlight, that like that that catch of light that you see as a metallic thing moves in the sun or something like that. But it doesn't have to always be the same color. If you're working in gold, let's say, um, the, the highlights should be silver. You can go with a highlight of, of a brighter gold if you have one, but it's made it way easier, frankly, to just kind of skip over that step and go straight to the kind of silver pop highlights on a gold, something like that. This shield uh, that I worked on, I did basically a lot of washes on the underside to add into the shadow and darken things down. And then it was basically specular highlights across the top to get the, 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 the glare from the highlights hitting on the metal. This is... Basically, almost, I don't want to say it's non-metallic metal using metallic metals, but it sort of is. You're just not slapping a bunch of silver on it and saying, cool, now it's metallic. You're accentuating it with some darkening in the shadows areas and some specular highlights with a brighter color of, let's say, silver in most situations. One of my last kind of ideas for very easy ways to make your metallics look a lot more interesting is to treat them as metal. Now, if you have a big metal sword that you don't take particularly good care of, but you've been, you know, smashing, I don't know, bad guys or good guys, whatever, that kind of thing uh, all day, you're going up against armor. So that's metal on metal. And what happens is that if you have a weapon that's a bit corroded or a bit rusty or something like that, very frequently what happens is that that corrosion and rust can get scraped off as metal hits metal. So... Take a scratchy little dry brush, not a big fat makeup brush like I like to talk about all the time to get those nice creamy smooth blends and, and gradients and stuff like that. Something stubby, bristly, something like that, uh, like this, I think is actually probably, this is my favorite brush for doing that. And then get some silver on there. Again, a real bright silver. Brush most of it off like you're dry brushing. And then it's just scraping along the edges if you know in this situation he's got these kind of walker legs right and he's probably been walking through concrete rubble and all that kind of stuff and it's been scraping off a bunch of the corrosion but it could be on a sword it could be on leading edges of armor it could be on leading edges of vehicle little scratches little things like that i've even seen people and i've done it a little bit on vehicles where you take like a toothpick a uh, cocktail stick i think they call it overseas and you get a little bit of paint on there and then you almost like try to wipe as much of it off but not too much and then scrape that across like a panel on a tank and then that will look like it's maybe been scraped onto the metal as it's gone through some rubble and a piece of rebar caught it and stuff like that adding paint scratches to things whether they're painted you know stuff stuff that's supposed to look painted or whether they're actually metal metallics um, works very well but specifically with metallics understand when you're putting metallics on something it's supposed to be metal and metal can get scraped up pretty easily i'm not saying it's going to put a big huge dent in it but it's definitely going to scrape off layers of paint sometimes layers of corrosion that you may have already spent some time weathering onto your metallics adding these little extra features can really make the metals look more real and that's kind of the most important part so if you've got some sort of miniature that's got a sword or an axe or a gun or something like that and you throw some metallic paint on it, 
You've made it look pretty cool, but you can do some very simple things to make it look even a little bit cooler. A little bit of washes, maybe some contrast, some dry brushing uh, or edge highlighting to pop those things. That kind of stuff is simple and quick, but still takes your paint job, specifically the metallic portions of your paint job, to the next level.